What do you know about being a bastard? After you finish this video, quite a bit. When a child of normal birth is born out of wedlock, they're considered a bastard. But they're better than normal children born outside of marriage because they get a last name. But how are those names chosen? It's pretty simple, actually. Bastards are given the surname of the land they're raised in, which usually revolves around that area's most prominent geographical feature. So north is snow, the vale is stone, the riverlands are rivers, the westerlands are hill, the Reach is Flowers, Dorn is Sand, Stormlands are Storm, and the Crownlands are Waters. The parents of a bastard can choose to give them a different, less conspicuous surname, but most just stick with those. Easier than making up new ones, I guess. Being a noble bastard gives you a leg up over small folk, but bastards are basically treated however their highborn parent chooses to treat them, which can vary from being treated like any other member of the family to being abandoned with their lowborn parents and no acknowledgement at all. Bastards have no rights to inheritances and will almost always be considered second to trueborn children, even if the bastard child was born first. To some, bastards are considered to have bad blood, quote unquote especially if they're the product of rape. So a lot of stigma surrounds being a bastard. You could be considered to be rotten by nature because of how you're born, which could end up being a self-fulfilling prophecy. Female bastards generally get married off to people no one cares about and get lands that no one cares about, if anything, and it, generally there's really nowhere to go for them. But male bastards can go on to do great things. It usually depends on their father. Aegon IV, also known as the Unworthy, sired a lot of bastards and was a major asshole. On his deathbed, he decided, you know what? I don't like my trueborn son much. He doesn't agree with me on some political matters. So I'm gonna legitimize all of my bastards and give the family sword to my favorite bastard son, Daemon Blackfire. This, as you can imagine, created some confusion as to who should be king. Daron II was the trueborn heir and therefore was considered to be the man with more right to the throne. But traditionally, the family sword, Blackfire, was given to the king. And he gave that to Daemon Blackfire, his now legitimized bastard. This confusion led to infighting and fighting led to multiple bloody Blackfire rebellions that became one of the many factors that eventually led to the destruction of Targaryen rule. So yeah, bastards have had a big part to play in the history of Westeros, and I think we all know they likely have just as big a part to play in the future as well. Hey.